Today I've got some gorgeous autumn of all ready jeans outfits to show you. I've got eight classy looks that you can put together with things that you may already have in your wardrobe or that you can very easily buy online. I would say most of these looks are smarter looks but some of them can be dressed down with just a few little tweaks but hopefully you'll find some outfit ideas in there for the new season ahead. If you want to stand out in a crowd then invest in a red coat or a blazer. They are so striking and they look fabulous with black jeans. All you need to do to make this look work is add a black top. In the picture, the model is wearing a roll neck, but a crew neck would also look good, as would a vest or a tank top. A gorgeous way to elevate this is by adding a scarf. It's a very sophisticated look and a good way to change up the blazer. Instead of all black, you could try black jeans and a white top. This is one of my favourite outfits that Kate Middleton has worn. I just love it. Now she's wearing trousers, but the same look could be done with black jeans. And a red blazer also looks wonderful with blue jeans. It's a good way to add some sophistication to a humble pair of blue jeans. Just like a red blazer or coat or actually even a cardigan, a houndstooth blazer can look gorgeous with black jeans and with white jeans as well. It's a fabulous piece to have in your wardrobe to make some really classic elevated looks. One of the simplest and easiest ways to wear a houndstooth blazer is with all black. It really looks stunning. It does look great with jeans, but you can recreate the look with a black skirt or a dress as well. It looks fab with black, but it does work with blue too. This isn't quite the same print, but you can see how the black and white work really well with the blue. I bought this one just recently in the mango sale and I'm so pleased I snapped it up when I saw it. It is double breasted, which I'm not usually a fan of, but this one fits me really nicely. Because I got it in the spring sale, I haven't had a chance to wear it that much just yet, but in the autumn, I'll get lots of wear from it. It looks incredibly similar to this designer one from Annie Bing, but wasn't anywhere near as expensive. I've tried mine a few different ways. I've tried it with all black, black jeans, black heels and a black top and bag. This is my Teddy Blake bag, but I do think a crossbody bag would work too. And even a red bag I think could look great. For accessories, I've added a pearl drop pendant necklace to the outfit and some pearl earrings. Now you may have also spotted that I'm not wearing my usual earrings in today's video. Today I'm wearing these beautiful little pearl drop earrings from Monica Vinida. These go beautifully with the outfit. They're very, very subtle and complement it really nicely. Another way I've tried it is with a white shirt and black jeans and added some red loafers from Cala. I've also tried it with a white polo neck and black jeans for a warmer weather look. This style of print blazer goes so well with all different coloured pairs of jeans. It's really a jean friendly blazer. A trench coat is a staple in lots of people's wardrobes. It's great for when you need something but not a great big thick coat. Beige does tend to be the colour in most people's closets, but a black one can transition beautifully into the autumn, and it is a very nice alternative to a beige one. I could put together lots of elegant outfit ideas for a black trench coat, but for this video I've picked this one. You can't get much simpler than this, but it looks so classic with blue jeans, a white t-shirt, black trench coat and black bag. You can't actually see the shoes in these pictures, but you could wear boots, loafers, or even Chanel dupes. I've tried this with things that I already own, and it's the simplest outfit to put together. The trench coat and the white shirt are both from Lily Silk. The shoes are from M&S and the bag is from Teddy Blake. I've added the beautiful Neura Pearl pendant necklace, which I showed you earlier from Monica Vinida. It really is so beautiful, very delicate looking, but it still makes a statement in a very understated way. This sits beautifully just between the V-neck blouse, but it also looks gorgeous worn over a sweater. The chain's adjustable, so I can wear it a little bit higher towards my collarbone or just drop it down slightly. I've also added two bracelets to the outfit. These are also Monica Vinida pieces. These two complement each other so nicely. This is the Alter textured chain bracelet. It looks lovely with the bangle, but it looks just as beautiful on its own. It's a very delicate looking bracelet, and this could also be adjusted to wear looser or sitting a little bit closer to the wrist. I've paired it with this beautiful, beautiful bangle. It's 18 karat gold plated vermeil. In fact, all the pieces I've showed you are made out of 100% recycled 18 karat gold vermeil. 
This bangle's got one single diamond just sat in the center, which looks so elegant. I do love very understated jewelry. It just looks so beautiful. And the diamond has been ethically sourced. Finally, I've just added the earrings that I showed you before, which I'm totally in love with. The wonderful thing about these though, they can be worn with or without the pearl. So they're very versatile. I really like jewellery that you can wear different ways. So you just get so much more wear from it. These are called the Siren Huggy or Huggy pearl earrings. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce them. If you fancy treating yourself to some beautiful jewellery from Monica Vinader, I do have a 20% off code for you. It's on the screen right now and I'll link it below for you as well. It's a very understated outfit, but the jewellery elevates it to look more finished and more polished. If the colour suits you, then a camel coloured coat can look terrific with jeans. But sometimes in the early autumn, it's still too hot to wear a big thick coat. So a camel coloured cardigan or blazer is the next best thing. This is a very classic look that I don't think will ever go out of style. It's an expensive looking outfit, but it can be put together easily without being expensive. And possibly you have these pieces in your wardrobe already. For this look, any style of white top and trousers will work. So you may have something already in your wardrobe that you could wear. Jeans look great, but a white pair of trousers will work as well. There's a gorgeous pair of two-tone shoes at Marks and Spencers, which are £40, which is about roughly about $55. Then all you need is a camel blazer. If it's too hot to wear a blazer, the same look works just as well with a camel cardigan. At the moment, camel cardigans are actually easier to find than camel blazers. I found this shorter cardigan from Bowdoin, and I also found this budget longer line cardigan from Two, which is from Sainsbury's if you are in the UK. And I actually thought this looked great. Reese do a really nice camel blazer. They're great quality, but they are expensive. And I did find this one on Amazon. It looks quite basic, and it's hard to tell the quality, but it could actually be made to look much more expensive by adding some gorgeous gold buttons. It will really elevate it. I've tried putting this look together with things I already own. My blazer is from Reese. I bought this one in the sale and it's one of the best purchases I've ever made as I get so much wear from it. My white jeans are from m and now I know it's not necessarily cool to get your jeans from Marks and Spencers, but these fit me so well and they're a great length on me. My shoes are also from Marks and Spencers. These again have been in my wardrobe for a little while now. My t-shirt's from Gap. Any kind of black bag will work. So really anything you already have in your wardrobe, but I've put it together with my Kim bag from Teddy Blake. I've got something quite exciting to share with you soon about a little project that I've been working on with Teddy Blake. I can't say any more just at the moment, but I will be revealing all very soon. So this outfit can be put together very simply with things you might have already. And it's quite a classic jeans outfit for the autumn and fall. Here are some other ways a camel blazer and cardigan can be worn with jeans. It looks terrific with black jeans and a white shirt. And then just add some animal print shoes. And a similar look could be done with a striped top instead of a white shirt. And the camel blazer also looks good with blue jeans too. It's just one of those pieces that look great with jeans multiple different ways. I do have a Pinterest board dedicated to the camel blazer, so I'll link it below for you. At the end of the summer and into the early part of the autumn, it's nice to combine sort of summery colours with some more autumnal shades. This next outfit mixes summery whites with autumnal oranges, so it's a really nice transitional outfit. This outfit of blue jeans, denim shirt and white blazer and shoes and a gorgeous orange bag looks fabulous. All the colours and tones have a very summery feel but the pieces are so wearable for the early part of autumn. If you need something warmer than a blazer, wear a white or a cream coat and then you could add a beautiful scarf, something with a colour in to match the bag. A denim shirt can really be quite a versatile piece to add to your wardrobe because it can be worn casual or smart. There are a few out there to buy if, if you don't have one. These are all from Nordstrom, but there's quite a few out there to buy. For another way to wear it, wear it open with black jeans and a white top and some animal print shoes. It's a really great casual outfit. A utility jacket is such a practical jacket and it goes great with jeans. I like this one from Banana Republic. I also love how this has been styled with the jeans. Now this one's been reduced 
to £100 from £200. It's a good reduction, but I think it's still quite pricey for a utility jacket. But it's a nice shape and it does look good quality. I like the drawstrings because it adds some definition to the waist and it's got a stand-up collar which really looks great. I love how this has been put together with cream or white jeans but they could be swapped for black or blue and you could just keep the upper part the same. Another lovely way to wear a utility jacket is with a denim shirt and white jeans. Getting more wear out of a denim shirt or try it with a striped knit. And it does work with blue jeans as well and it looks great with the tan tote. How do you feel about bomber jackets? Now I actually quite like them. I think any age could wear them and look good in them, not just the young. They are set to be the style to wear this season and they can look quite nice with jeans. The bomber jacket doesn't need to be over complicated. It works really well with just very basic pieces so in actual fact it can be put together quite easily. This one here is from Ralph Lauren, so it's a bit expensive, but as the new season styles start hitting the stores, you'll start seeing more and more. If you have black jeans, you could just pair this very easily with a white basic top, add a black belt, and it's a lovely on-trend, but not trendy, casual outfit. It looks good warm with all black underneath and with a grey top, so it's really very easy to switch around. It can be worn with other coloured jeans too. It works with blue and also with white. This style of jacket can work with a classic wardrobe. Just keep it simple and pair it with other basic wardrobe staples. We always see lots of classic Breton stripe top outfits throughout the year, but a wider stripe top is not quite as common and it can look fabulous with jeans. Now this top comes from Jigsaw and this would work fabulously well to recreate this look with your blue jeans. The three other pieces you'll need are nude shoes and bag and a coat. I think I may add nude loafers rather than bally flats to this look. Something like these ones from Mint Velvet. Then you'll need a bag to match the colour of the shoes. I love the shape of the coat in the picture. This is actually the closest I could find to it. And this one is from Amazon. It's a nicely put together outfit. And for a change to a small stripe that you see so often, the wider stripe top can make a nice alternative. I thought this was a lovely, well put together jeans outfit. And so simple to do if you've got some basic pieces. It is a very smart look, but it does have a very classy feel to it. There's a brown check blazer available on Amazon. It looks very nice, but the price is £20, which is around about $25-ish. So I'm not convinced it looks like it actually does in the picture, as that sounds very cheap to me. But you could add some gold buttons to make it look much more expensive. However, if you do want to spend a bit more on one, this one is from Nordstrom at the other end of the scale. You'll need some blue jeans and a camel or a taupe coloured top to complete the look. These are really quite easy to pick up now. I like crew neck ones. This one here is from Hobbs and this one is from Benetton around the £60 mark, which is about $68. But a V-neck one would work perfectly well too. You could wear this with blue or black jeans. It's a combo that will work with both and probably with white jeans as well. If you really want to zhuzh the outfit up a bit, then you could add a printed scarf. It'll look absolutely fabulous. Then just add a brown bag. It's a gorgeous smart jeans outfit. This is another way to wear a check blazer with a white top and black jeans. I'd also try the white top with blue jeans and try pairing that with a deep green bag. I think that would look gorgeous.